Okay, okay, great. Are you all ready? Everyone, have your mic. Good, 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 good. Well, first, we are so excited to be in Moore County today. We know that people here have taken it on the chin uh, after the substation shooting and having lost power for four nights. I'll tell you, the spirit of the people of Moore County shines through. Kristen and I are here today. Uh, we've done a lot of shopping, probably too much, but it's uh, we, we bought a lot of wonderful things. And what we continue to hear from both the retailers and the customers is that people have really decided to come out and support these local small businesses because they know they've had a tough time. You know, they had to get through this pandemic and then you're getting back going well again and then all of a sudden right in the middle of Christmas shopping we have this power outage. Uh, we're continuing to work to make sure that we do everything we can to bring resources to Moore County, to people who've lost food, uh, to people who have had other losses and we're still in the process of those assessments and uh, working with our Department of Health and Human Services and our emergency management. But in the meantime, Kristen and I wanted to come to to show our support for small businesses here and to celebrate uh, really the Christmas spirit with the people here in Moore County because it's been pretty special today. Be glad to take questions. So, Governor, you, you know, you, you've already talked about um, helping other folks besides businesses, but you have folks like uh, folks who work at daycare centers yeah. uh, where their employees couldn't work, the, the daycare center owners themselves lost money. Uh, that's 10 days from Christmas. Any plans that would do anything quickly enough for them to, you know, compensate the about six hundred dollars that each Moore yeah. County resident lost? It, it's really hard right now when people are right here at the holidays and have lost something that they thought that they would have. Uh, we're working with nonprofits to try to help people who are in that type of situation. Uh, we are working with our Department of Health and Human Services to try to help with food insecurity and drawing down some SNAP benefits. Also, if there are any other state funding that we can use that we've done in the past for these localized disasters, like we had the earthquake in Allegheny County, we were able to use state funding to try to help. Uh, I don't know if anything can happen before Christmas, and, I, and I will, from the government perspective, but I would urge people to look for people who are here and who are in trouble and helping United Way and Boys and Girls Clubs and others that are really trying to reach out for people to, with during the holidays with this difficult situation that people have faced here. What's the latest on the investigation? Well, I know that federal, state, and local officials are leaving no stone unturned to find out who and why they did this. Uh, it is so frustrating to see this in attack on an entire community that plunged 40,000 plus people into darkness. And one thing I do know is that uh, we're going to learn from this. Uh, utility companies, uh, law enforcement, others are, are planning for more potential attacks on our grid. I had a good conversation with the Secretary of Department of Homeland Security, Mayorkas. We've had actually two conversations. We know we need to do more to, to protect this critical infrastructure. Governor, what did we learn? Our kitchen. Oh, go ahead. No, no. Go. What, what, what did we learn from this, the bigger picture? Well, first, we do know that there are people who actually have this in our, their plans to attack infrastructure and, and know that that's part of a playbook of people who want to commit terrorist acts. So. There are thousands of these substations located across the country, and we know that there needs to be some more smart investments for security. Uh, clearly, it was too easy to do this, but it's also clear that people knew exactly what they were doing. And the utilities don't want to talk specifically about changes that they're planning to make because they don't want to tip off people who may want to commit these criminal acts. But I do know that there is a lot of conversation and action that's going to be taken here. Yes. Um, I mean, it's kind of what you just spoke of, but, you know, I was wondering how soon that there might be some changes implemented and if it's a, an effort that I would think would have to be done with every state in the country. Everything's yeah. connected. Well, not everything is connected when you're talking about the electric grid. And, in fact, the different levels of security depends upon 
how many people could be affected if something happened to a particular substation. And each of the substations are located in different areas and have different voltage. So it's a little more complex as to how much you invest in security in certain places. And that assessment is going on right now. I do believe some changes are being made already. And we need to talk about, we do have to have a national conversation about this, about what additional federal requirements should be made but also here at the state level is what else we need to do to prevent this kind of thing from happening. Because all you gotta do is talk to somebody from Moore County, they will tell you how difficult this was for four nights not to have power. Uh, not only losing food and a cold night, uh, a lot of seniors struggled uh, to, to stay, stay warm, uh, having to put a shelter together. I wanna commend all of the first responders and the the law enforcement and the healthcare community and the nonprofits and just neighbors who stepped up and, and helped each other. But these retailers were, were one of the uh, entities that really got hurt uh, during this, this time at Christmas. So we wanted to put the spotlight on them and I guess we have somewhat today and that's a, that's a good thing. And uh, we're hoping that uh, people come out and help to support the, them, particularly these last few days before Christmas. I got time for one more. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, what would you say to residents who are feeling unsafe because of these attacks? So law enforcement has stepped up its security right now in these areas. I was just having a conversation yesterday with the Secretary of Department of Public Safety. Uh, so I believe that people can feel safe. I know that they are frustrated and to realize how vulnerable that we are with this happening, but I think people can say with confidence that we're going to learn from this and do better and make sure that uh, we do everything we can to protect our electric, our water infrastructure. Uh, we've spent a lot of time on cybersecurity because we know that power can really be uh, affected uh, by, by a cyber attack. Uh, we saw that with the Colonial Pipeline uh, a few years ago. So there's a lot of work in prevention that we need to do. That's all time we got. Thank you guys. So we're going to do a little more shopping, Thanks, but uh, really appreciate Thank it. You,